you will be sweating. As a result, you will be increasing your metabolism, burn fat, increase lean muscles, and you will lose weight, okay? So I want you to give me your best effort and try your very best. So just keep marching on the spot, okay? Now I want you to just do some leg curls. We're still warming up for another minute. Good. Keep going. Really feel your thighs warming up and really stretch and open the chest. Keep going. And now let's just give me some swings, leg kicks, swing. You really want to stretch out the hamstrings. These are all dynamic stretches. So what you're doing, you're stretching out at the same time, you're also working to warm the muscles up. Do not ever work out without doing any warm up, okay? If you feel that you need a longer warm up, then do a 10 minutes warm up. Nice. And now, let's keep marching. The first workout is going to be a squat. So stand shoulder width apart, face forward, squat down, and tiptoe, okay? In one second, let's go. Squat, up, tiptoe, and squeeze your calf. Squat, tiptoe, nice. Slow down and up. Really go all the way down and push your legs up, squeeze your butt, and squeeze your calves. Nice. So I do not want to see your legs collapsing forward or when you're arching too much. So body upright, chest forward, squat, tiptoe. Very good. Remember to always face forward, look straight ahead, chest open up, look up, and give me a nice deep squat and tiptoe. Squeeze it. Good. One more and rest it out. So if you want to, you can shake a little bit and just rest it out. Second workout. Discover Audible with an audio book on us. will be a low impact burpees. So, okay, let's do that together. Down, step back, back, nice plank, forward, forward, reach up, good. Down, back, back, forward, forward, reach and stretch up. So making sure that your body is in a nice plank and you're stretching all the way up, no hunching. Again, posture is extremely important when it comes to engaging your body. Nice. Down, back, back, forward, forward, reach up. Good. Back, back, forward, forward, keep your butt down and reach up. And give me, just rest it out. Very good job, guys. And the next workout is going to be a sumo squat. So with sumo squats, what you want to do is stand wide, toes pointed out, and the focus is to really work on your inner thighs. I want you to give me a low sumo squat. When you come up, just tap the opposite side, okay? So opposite side, let's go. Sumo squat, tap and touch. Down, feel your inner thighs, tap. Down, tap, good. Bring the leg up and tap the opposite side, nice. Arms up, tap. Squeeze those butt. Good. You should really feel your inner thighs working when you're going down and coming back up. If not, take a wider step and remember to point your toes out. Keep going, guys. Doing a good job. Few more. Last one more. And rest it out. Good. Just keep marching on the spot and feel your heart rate. Next workout is a kneel and squat. So I want you to get a soft mat if you want to. All I want you to do is kneel down and squat up, okay? Maintain a low position at all times. Kneel down and squat up. Let's go. So keep your body low and up. You will really feel those butts and your thigh muscles burning. Remember, it's all about working the major, the major muscles and also big muscles in your body. When you work on the big muscles, which are the leg muscles, you will be burning a lot more calories and also fat. Good. And you will also feel tired. Keep going, guys. New and up. Stay low. Do not stand up. Not right now. Keep going. Give me one 
last kneel and squat. Up and rest it out. Good job. Let's continue, okay? So, next workout, it's going to engage your core even more. It's going to be a standing crunch, and I want you to kick to your side. That's it. Crunch opposite and kick the other side. Give me a nice, strong kick, okay? Ready? Let's go. Crunch, kick the opposite side. Crunch, kick the opposite side. Crunch, kick. So really bring your elbows and knees together and kick. Nice. Take the effort to bring your knee up. Kick. Keep crunching. Look forward and look the opposite side. Kick. Nice. Good job, guys. You're doing well. And your heart rate should be increasing. And remember to always pace your breathing. Kick. A few more. Kick. One last one. Kick. The other side and kick. Woo. Keep breathing. Okay, breathe deeply. And now we want to get down onto the mat. It's going to be a really simple knee push up and tap. Okay, so I want you to get onto your knees, shoulders and your arms should be in line with your chest, okay? Go down into a push up, up and tap the opposite side. Down and up, tap, okay? Making sure that your body is in a straight line. Good. So your butt should not be doing this. This is wrong. This is totally wrong. Bring your body into a straight line and tap the opposite side. That slight tap motion will give you a short breather as you work on your chest and your upper body and also your arms. Good. I believe that everyone should learn how to do a good push-up because honestly, push-up is one of the best upper body workouts. Good. Good, good job. Now, we're going to get down onto our mat, okay? Next is going to be reverse. Lie down on your mat. And I want you to bring your legs up 90 degrees. Just do a slight crunch in, touch down, crunch back in, engage your lower abs, okay? And crunch in. Good. The goal is to eventually bring your legs straight, crunch down and up. But again, everybody needs a starting point. So just crunch, bend your knees, tap, and up. Do not rest, it's just a light tap and down. Very good, keep going. Reverse crunches. It's going to really work on your lower abs and to engage those muscles that may have been sleeping for many years. Good. All right, come back up and one final workout is a solid plank. Everyone, beginners, advanced, whether you're intermediate, we should all work on making sure that we could do a good plank, okay? So if you're an absolute beginner, I want you to get onto your elbows and just get onto your knees and hold this nice plank. So butt should not be up, body should not be arched, it should just be straight and hold a nice plank. If you want to challenge yourself, get up onto your toes and hold a nice plank, okay? So your shoulders, elbows and chest and your palms should be in line. This is wrong, this is wrong, Okay, nice alignment. Shoulders, elbows, palms in line and keep your body straight and just look down, okay? And just hold it for 40 seconds and gradually increase the time. Very good. Well done, guys. So that was the first set. I want you to grab some water, keep yourself hydrated, keep breathing because we want to do the second set. If you feel that at this point, you're completely out of breath, you feel like you can't go anymore. We want to get straight into the first workout, which is a squat with tiptoes, okay? So I want you to really engage your legs and also your calf muscles, all right? Let's do it, let's go. Deep squat, tiptoe, nice. Deep squat, tiptoe. Remember to always push your butt back and tiptoe. So keep your body straight, tiptoe, nice. Deep squat and tiptoe. Really go as low as you can. Feel your muscles engaged and come back up and tiptoe. 
Very good. Keep going. Your toes should be pointed forward. Nice. Give me at least five more. Two. Keep going. Three. Last two more. Four. Tiptoe. Hold it. Last one. Five. And just hold it right up there and rest it out. Very good. Next workout, low impact burpees, okay? If you really want to push yourself, you can always add that little hop. So, now, let's get down into a nice plank. We want to bring, step forward, and really reach up and stretch and feel your back, your upper back engaged as well. Let's go. Step back, nice, forward, and reach. Good. Oh my God, all the grass is in my hands. Reach. Good. Down, step forward, and up, okay? So your back should be flat, it should not be arching, and step forward. Reach up, good. Keep going, guys. Back, step forward, and up, nice. Reach for the sky. Keep going, feel your butt muscles, feel your core working, and your heart rate. Pace of breathing, let's go. Breathe in, and out. Very good. Next workout, sumo squat with a little bit of tap. So for this sumo squat, remember, your toes should be pointed outwards. So step wide, okay? Nice pointed toes outwards. Give me a deep squat. Focus on engaging your inner thighs. Up, and let's go. Tap. Nice, deep squat and tap. Good. Deep, tap, deep, and tap. Very good, guys. Keep going. Tap, opposite side. Take the effort to bring your leg as high as you can and tap. Woo. Let's go. Nice. Always keep your white stun and tap. Good. I can see your legs working. You should be feeling your inner thighs burning. Work on engaging those muscles because most of the time we just forget about them. And if you really want to tone up the inner thighs, sumo squat is my favorite workout. Good, and just rest it out, okay? Now, grab your mat, okay? And we want to do kneel to squat, okay? So remember, the goal is to always stay as low as you can throughout the entire workout. All right, guys? So kneel and get back up into a squat. Stay low, kneel, down, up. Good, kneel and up, nice. So again, it's all about engaging the core muscles to keep your body upright and also to really keep your body open and really to work on the major muscles in your body. Keep going, guys. Nice. It's such a beautiful morning today. It's a little bit hot here, but I know I'm getting a good workout. I know I will be feeling amazing right at the end. So you're almost done. Just give me one more nice deep squat and kneel. Rest it out. Very good. So, now we want to get back up into a standing crunch, opposite, and remember the nice kick to the side. All right, show me some energy. Are you ready? Right, let's go now. Crunch and kick to the side. Very good. Crunch, opposite, kick. Crunch for your abs engage, the side obliques, kick. Crunch, your obliques should be working. Crunch and kick. Look on the opposite side. High kick. Nice. High kick. Good. Keep going, guys. High kick. Nice. Drop the arms and kick. Drop the arms and kick. Drop and kick. Good. Few more. Woo! You're almost done with your side crunches. Kick. Last one. Kick and just rest it out, okay? Now we want to get into a push-up with a little bit of shoulder tap, okay? I believe that everyone should be able to do a good solid push-up. So, get to your knees, all right? Remember, shoulder width apart, palms in line with your shoulders and your chest, and go low, up, and tap. Low, up, and tap. So, again, your butt should not be pointing upwards, Pushing up, it's all about engaging your upper body and your core muscles. That little tap will add a little bit of resistance to engage your core 
and keep your body straight. So do not over twist, okay? Just a nice tap and back down. Good, tap, keep going guys. Eventually, we want to progress into toe push-up, okay? A full push-up. Right, last three more. Nice. Two more. And just rest it out. Right, next, reverse crunches, okay? So, spread your mat out. So remember, the goal is to really work on your lower abs. And also, you will feel a little bit on your back muscles, but it should not strain too much. So, lie down, bring your legs up, crunch, 90 degrees, tap, crunch a little bit to feel the lower abs working. So, really take the effort to crunch it up and feel your lower abs engaged. Nice, crunch it. Good job, crunch. And what is our goal, guys? To really eventually straighten the leg and crunch and down. Even if you can just straighten a little bit, remember it's all about progression. It's all about taking one step at a time. Few more. Give me one more. And last one. Good job. Now, final workout. I want you to challenge yourself to hold a one minute plank, okay? Really go all out and see how far you can hold the plank. So we have another five seconds rest and let's do this together. One minute solid plank, really focus on the core. Good. So remember to check your form and make sure that your form is right. Shoulders, elbows, palms in line. Back flat, neutral neck and just gaze down. Good job. All right. In order to keep your back straight, you have to tighten and suck in the core and really engage it. So no arching, no dropping, no overarching, nice solid back, feel your core working, feel your arms working, and also even your legs muscles. Right, we have another 20 seconds left. We're not dropping right now. No, we're not. We're holding. You might be shaking, and that's absolutely fine. Every shake, means you are only getting stronger. Your muscles are still adapting to the workout and I want you to push that little bit further to really get stronger. And down. And now just relax into a child pose and stretch it out. Well done guys, you should be sweaty and you have burned about 200 calories during this workout. So remember to end your workout with a quick five minute stretches, okay? For the next four to six weeks, I want you to do this workout three to four times a week.